Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On the last video, I said that I was going to do a print and cut photo that I'm going to place on the milestone photo banner. And if you're new here, I will link the previous video under the description box in case you want to check it out. If not, let's just jump right on my workspace. Okay, so this is the milestone banner that I was talking about. And you can grab this file on my blog for free, which I will also link it under the description box. But for now, let's go ahead and upload the photo that I'd like to use for this project. So click Upload, Upload, Browse, and then go to the Download folder and search for that file image. And once it's uploaded, we're going to choose Complex, then Continue. Click Continue again. And right here, the box on the left is when you save it as a print, then cut. Name the file, put tags if you'd like, then click save. Click on the image, then click insert. Now that we're on my workspace, I'm going to move this here. Now let's grab a square. I'm going to unlock it here. And you can also unlock it up here on the top panel. Let me just zoom in for a better view when I resize the shape. So I'm going to place the square on top of the banner. And I'm just going to make the square smaller than the banner. And I think this is good enough for me. And I'm just going to duplicate it just in case I'll need this for later. So now what I'm going to do is place a shape on top of the photo that I would like to slice. Let me zoom out a bit so I can resize the photo. So to select both layers, you just press the shift key, click the shape and the photo. And right here on the right side panel, you will see that two layers are selected. Then go ahead and click Slice. Just move the shape, then the slice photo, and just place it right here. And then just repeat the process of placing the shape on top of the image, select both layers, then Slice. I'm just going to fast forward the video so we can get to the next step. Now that I'm done slicing the photos, I'm going to get rid of these. and then hide the banner by clicking on the eye on the right side panel. I'm just going to select this row of photos and bring it up here. And I'm just going to bring them closer to each other and do the same with the other photos. I just wanna make sure that I have room to the print and cut rule of 6.75 by 9.25. Otherwise, it will give me a message that it's too big to do the job. And then select all. Then click attach. Attaching will keep everything in place. Then go ahead and click make it. Then click continue. Send to printer.
turn off the bleed button. Then turn this button on. on then click print. Your printer window should pop up, but mine doesn't, so I, so I would have to minimize this window. And here it is. Click on layout. Scroll down to print settings. Best for print quality. Then ensure that you click on the color. Then print. Now that it's done printing, I'm going to place my printable onto the mat and I'm just using the roll to make sure the printable paper is nice and flat onto the mat. The dial on my machine is on custom settings so the screen will prompt you to select the material you'd like to use. And I'm going to use sticky note on mine because that's what works for me. I'm going to leave the pressure on default, but you may choose more or less. Um, it's up to you. Now I'm going to insert my mat onto the machine and I'm just going to click start. A light will come on to scan the registration marks. This is to distinguish where it will start cutting. Now that it's done cutting, let's go ahead and click finish. Gently remove the printable material away from the mat. And make sure to place back the cover to protect your mat. And right here, I have the cut up banner stacked up and ready. So I just removed the first month photo from the sticker sheet. Place it on top of the cardstock just below the holes for the string. You press and sweep. Then go to the next photo and you're going to do the same thing. So this will be repetitive so I'm just going to go to the next step. Now we're going to do the string, which I purchased this at Hobby Lobby. And see how the string is sort of fraying? I'm just going to grab a piece of tape. And just wrap it around the end and create a needle like to it. This way I can insert it into the hole easily. So just push it through the hole and then insert it into the other hole. And there you go. All right, you guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up or a comment. Also, don't forget to grab the milestone banner on my blog. It is completely free, as well as the video tutorial on the milestone banner, which I will link everything below on the description box. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.